Hi everyone, welcome you all. This is Pavan. In the today's video, we are going to see about ETL testing career. So many people were asking from the long time, what is ETL testing and uh, how we can start career in ETL testing? What are the skills are required? How we can switch to ETL testing career? And what is the future of ETL testing? So these kind of questions people were asking from the long time. So in this video, I'm going to address those questions one by one. So first of all, let us see what is ETL testing actually, where exactly it will come into picture. And once you understand what is ETL testing, then we will discuss about these points. So when I say ETL testing means ETL is nothing but a extraction, transformation and load, or you can say extract, transfer, transform and load. So these are the, this is the full form of ETL, extraction, transformation and loading. And basically this will work on the data okay basically nowadays uh, everything is data only right we are generating lots of data through uh, various types of devices we are generating the data through mobile we are generating the data to the google we are generating the data through videos images voice so nowadays everything is data if you go with the, to the internet everything is a data only right so mainly the etl comes on data only so it will basically work on the data so what exactly the etl means sir? So for example, let us take a, a company or any organization. So that organization having a different branches and their own branches, the branches are having their own databases, internal databases, right? So let's say, for example, uh, I have a main, uh, I have a, let's say I have a bank. Okay. So this bank is having different branches. Let's say branch one and branch two and so on. So within these branches, they're having their own, uh, own databases. And uh, at the end of the day, what they do, all the data will be dumped into the main server. Okay. And this main server actually contains the data. So here, whatever the data is available in this local servers, we basically we are calling as a transactional data because this data will keep on operating in every second, right? And uh, at the end of the day or quarterly ones, so what they do is they will dump this entire data into the main servers. And uh, this data is basically used for the analytics. Okay, based on this data, the companies will take the decisions. And this is not an operational data. Okay, this data will be dumped from the different servers based on the period of the time. Like it can be daily basis or monthly basis or quarterly basis. They will dump the data into the main servers. But whatever data is available in this uh, local database, this is a transactional data and this data will keep on updating on a day-to-day -day basis. But this data will keep on not updating and based on the periodical time. So these data will be basically updated. So here getting this data or loading this data into the servers, basically we call it as an ETL process, extract, transform and load. But we don't directly dump this data into the server. So initially we will have something called a staging and also we call it as a data warehouse. So in the staging, we will apply certain number of rules. First of all, we will get all the data from the different sources. Like uh, the sources can be any type like ERP data or CRM data or SQL. Sometimes data will be in the flat files or sometimes it will be in the images format, voice format. So all this data will be available. Uh, this is basically called as a transactional data. You can also call as OLTP, online transaction processing data, which is called as a transactional data. This data keep on updating on day to day basis. And uh, before getting this data or before loading the data into the warehouse, we do set a process like first we will validate the data and we will clean the data and then we will apply certain rules on the data that is basically called as a transforming and we will aggregate the data and finally we will load the data into the data warehouse so data warehouse is a also is a kind of a server so this doesn't have a transactional data and all the transactional data we will dump into the data warehouse and this data warehouse actually contains the final data and that data will be used for the uh, uh, take the business decisions. We will do some kind of analysis on the data based on that business and business decisions will be taken care. Of. So here the data warehouse is nothing but a server and which contains all the data which is transformed through ETL process. Extract, transform and load. So where exactly ETL comes into picture? Here the ETL come into picture. So before loading the data into the data warehouse, we do certain kind of validations on data. We do cleaning process. We do transformation, aggregation. And finally, we will load the data into the data hub. And this data will be used for decision making. Business decisions will be taken based on the data. So then next level, 
there is OL AP analysis. Here we call it as an OL AP, online application processing. And this is not a transactional data. And this data is called as an online application processing, which is used for analysis, data mining, data visualization, report generation, creating the dashboard, generating the alerts. So these things will be taken care based on the data which is available in the data warehouse. So the data is available here what? Through ETL process. Once the ETL process is completed, the data will be available in the data warehouse. So based on this data only, the next level like business intelligence process will start. So what is business intelligence people will do is they will do some analytics on the database, which is also called as a data analytics and data mining, data visualization, report generation, and so on. So to do this BI process, there are so many tools are available in the market. But the first stage is called ETL process. So once the ETL process is completed, data will be available in the data warehouse. All the BI tools will work based on the data, data warehouse data. Okay, this is the next level. So this is the, the whole process of ETL, extract, transformation, and load. So ETL come into picture here. So here we do the uh, testing on ETL. So actually in ETL also, there are two designations, ETL developer, ETL tester. So what developer will do is, developer will create all the rules, transforming rules, and they will basically aggregate the data, clean that everything the developer will do. And once the development is done, so we have to check whether ETL process correctly happening or not. So after completion of the ETL, data processing is correctly happening or not through those rules. So we need to prepare a lot of test data and accordingly we have to prepare, we need to test the source data and also target data. So before ETL, what is the source data is available? After applying the ETL process, are we getting the right data or not? What is our expected data or actual data? So source and targets, we have to compare. So that comes under the ETL testing part. Okay, so this is a, a basic understanding of what is uh, uh, ETL process. So now let us uh, look at uh, what are the different jobs are there. Okay, so what are the uh, different jobs are there and what are the skills are required to perform the ETA testing and all those things we will discuss first. Okay, just a second. Okay, so now we will see how we can switch to career into ETL testing. So if you want to start a career in ETL testing and both IT and non-LT people also eligible. So even if you are coming from non-IT and you can still uh, choose for ETL testing as a career. And even if you are fresher or experienced also, you can choose for ETL testing career. And if people are already working on software testing like manual testing or functional testing, and those people also eligible for starting career in ETL testing. Or if you are interested in ETL testing, you can easily shift into the ETL testing. So what are the skills required to learn ETL testing? So which is the most important thing we need to understand first. So if you go, if you want to go as an ETL tester, first of all, you have to know the testing concepts, which is very, very important. Okay, so you have to know about the software testing concept. And uh, software testing concepts in the sense, you have to know what is functional testing, what is non-functional testing, what are the different tech type uh, testing techniques are available, testing types are available. So those things are very, very important. And that's the first skill you should have. The second type of skill is SQL. This is very, very important. Piece. So in SQL, you should be very, very stronger and you should, you should learn SQL in depth. Okay, you have to learn in the, uh, SQL in depth. And uh, basic SQL is not enough because while testing the ETL processes, we have to write a complex SQL queries, joins, sub queries, okay, nested sub queries, nested joins. Okay, so you have to know uh, each and everything and uh, you have to know the SQL in, the, in depth. So very strong, you should be very strong in the SQL. That is very, very important. And then you have to know about ETL testing concepts. So like what is uh, ETL testing? What is the data warehouse? What are the transformation rules we have to apply? How to clean the data? So these concepts you have to aware of before that. And data warehousing concepts also you have to require like how many types of data warehousings are there? What is data mart? how the data will be stored, what are the different schemas are available to store the data. So this knowledge is very much important. And uh, you should also know commands like Unix and Linux commands because the data is most available on Linux servers. And database is also most of the times available in the Linux or Unix machines. So if you know the Unix or Linux commands, you can easily work on those environments. So Unix or Linux is most important. And along with them, you should know uh, shell scripting or Python scripting, which is also very, very helpful for you. And finally, if you learn ETL tools, that will be also very, very helpful. And in the market, current market, 
there are many tools are available especially informatica power center informatica pc which is very popular tool which is available for etl testing and the data stage ibm data stage and query search these are the various tools are available in the market but there are so many are there but here these are the tools which are very popular in the current market so if you learn at least one uh, one tool at least uh, one or two tools you can easily uh, shift into etl testing and that will be very very helpful for you so these are the mandatory skills you should have or you should learn to become etl tester okay so now we will see how is the job market in etl testing suppose if you learn in etl testing what kind of jobs you will get so basically you can go as a etl qa or etl test engineer or we can say data warehouse and test engineer and also we can call it as a back end tester so just like a function tester here also there will be roles like tester senior tester and a test lead test manager similarly here also you have a same kind of roles like uh, etl qa etl test engineer senior test engineer test lead or test manager so like this you can also have the same kind of designations for etl testing also and what is the future of etl testing so if you start career as a etl tester so what would be the feature so if i look at the etl testing so etl is basically work on the data only right so data is a permanent so data will be there forever forever so data will not be lost data will not be reduced in future so it will be triple right so it will be doubling and tripling the data nowadays so there are huge data is generating from more number of devices in the coming years there will be huge data will be generated so whenever the data is available so the tools and technologies which are related data will always will be there so you can go as a data analyst or you can go as a data mining engineer data visualization big data and machine learning so these are all the different fields which are related to data only so if you are more familiar with uh, data and if you are more familiar to work on the data you can go with these kind of fields in future so this is the enhancement of the etl testing part so if you go as a etl tester then you can enhance your skills and you can just move on to the another type of uh, field, another type of designations like data analyst and these are the different areas like as i said beginning etl testing once the etl is done so the data will be available in the data warehouse so from there the next process will be taken care so business uh, decisions will be taken care based on the data warehouse data and how the business will take care of the decisions they will analyze the graphs they need data analyst and they need data mining engineers and data visualization and uh, big data so lots of data will be generated in different formats so they need to analyze the data and even machine learning is also work based on the data only so data analytics and data review is basically depends on machine learning so machines how machines will perform the actions based on the data only right so these are all fields which are related to etl testing so this is the basically future of the etl testing so if you want to become an etl tester you should be very strong in sql that's the first thing and should be you should have a uh, you should have a passion to work on data that's most important you will completely work on the back end side not on the ui side you will be mainly working on the databases tables data so these are the main areas you will touch up on etl testing but you will not touch any ui part okay but if you enhance your career in etl testing then you can go as a business intelligence tool you can learn and you can go as a business uh, analyst not business analyst data analyst because there are so many business intelligence tools are available if you learn those tools you can go as a business intelligence uh, uh, area and that will be useful to analyze the data and based on that business decisions will be taken care so this is very very demanding tool in the market and if you are completely from non it and you have a long gap also and if you are not if you are not interested to learn coding especially if you are not interested to learn programming and coding part if you don't like it then you can choose this one as a career this is a one of the option which is available for you okay so that's all for this video so thanks for watching we'll see in the next video bye bye